It's also forced the continent's risk insurer to come up with policies to handle the epidemic. Angelo Coppola reports. According to the latest data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than 9,000 people have died from Ebola in Liberia, Sierra Leone and Guinea. The country's economies have been decimated and at the beginning of February, the IMF announced debt relief packages for all three countries. This is all after the fact. African Risk Capacity is working on providing a product that can mitigate some of the economic downside. Right now in an R&D stage, and we're working with leading virologists, um, including Metabiota, uh, whom you may have seen in the news recently on, on, on epidemic risk. Um, and we're looking to have a product ready f uh, for the market for countries in around 2017. African countries that are at risk of the spread of epidemics are those that have less than acceptable primary health care systems in place. And this product should provide a safety net as an epidemic is fought. Our policies are not developed yet, but uh, for natural disasters, I can get as a proxy uh, our drought insurance because we have diversity um, across the continent and that uh, really brings down the cost of contingency financing. The premiums are set at about 10% of the cover. So for $30 million of cover of drought insurance, you would pay $3 million approximately as a country. The call for an epidemic insurance solution was initially made because of the devastating Ebola virus. However, it's not an Ebola-specific product. Next time it's not going to be Ebola. Um, next time it will be a different, um, a different virus that, that lives in the reservoir in some of our countries. Um, and there seem to be two financing needs, one at the, at the, out, at the onset and, 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 others, and another time to contain the spread. So we're really looking at a policy that fits to, that is contextually appropriate for Africa um, and meets the needs of our member states. Sovereign insurers look to provide products that can mitigate some of the financial risk when a particular event occurs. However, it shouldn't be seen as a solution to dealing with an epidemic. It's still incumbent on a country to develop and maintain a strong primary health care system that can deal with outbreaks before they become epidemics. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV.